Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Abdash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. Today, I'm going to jump into a quick lesson, and it's going to be a scripture that is very relevant. And all the, all the scriptures are relevant at every time, but this one right here is a very... Uh, classic scripture as well man Romans uh, 13 and 11 but without further ado I'm going to go ahead and get into it it says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep and so like if you hear something in the background it's my pup eating food all right but anyway it says for now is our salvation nearer than we uh, nearer than when we believe that's right man we see everything going on this Trump Trump going on uh, doing his little uh, thing. Um, some uh, grocery stores ain't taking um, food stamps anymore. The chip push being pushed more than ever as of lately. You know, things are getting things are getting ramped up. You know, things are getting ramped up, and we see the prophecies unfolding day by day, and it's like a domino. It's like a domino effect. All right, things are happening at an exponential and fast pace uh, uh, pace right now. You know. So again, it says in that knowing, okay, so knowing the time, all right, let's get that word knowing. And the Greek is ado, and it means to see, to perceive with the eyes, perceive by any of the sense, perceive by any of the sense. It says perceive by any of the sense, senses. When brothers say, man, man, I can sense the end coming. I can sense it. It says to perceive, notice, discern. Discern means a judgment. We can judge that the end of times are right before our eyes. Okay? It says discover, to see. It says to turn the eyes, the mind, the attention to anything. Our mind and our attention is towards these prophecies that are coming to pass right now. Okay? We see things happening. All right? It says to pay attention and observe. We are in the lot of Habakkuk, the second chapter. We stand on our watch, we're watchmen, we're seeing and waiting what the Lord has to say to us. And when the Lord speaks to us, it's through his prophecies. I might as well just go ahead and get Habakkuk chapter 2 real quick. All right. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set, and set me upon the tower. Any watchman is on top of a tower who is, who is watching the kingdom. Okay. While Yahweh is gone, we are to gather his elect. Okay, and that's 144,000, which are going to be the progenitors, are the joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in the new kingdom. All right, it says, and we'll watch to see what he will say unto me. That's right. We're going to watch to see what Yahweh Shai says unto us via the prophecies that we see, because we're standing upon the watch on the tower. All right, it says, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Okay, so going on, it, it continues to say in the word of uh, knowing. It says, see about something. <laughs> hey, Jake liked to say in the world, man, I'm going to see about you, man. You know, it says, pay attention. It says um, to inspect and examine. We examine the things that are coming to pass in this world, man. We are examining the prophecies. All right. Experience any state or condition. All right. Uh, let's see. A note to know of anything. All right. The scriptures say we have an unction to know all things. We have an unction to know what prophecies are popping off. And what scriptures to link them, link them up with so we can know what kind of times we're in right now. All right. So going back, it says, and knowing, it's a lot, and that, knowing the time. So we understand that knowing the time is discerning the time, observing the time, standing on our watch, seeing what's about to unfold. Okay. It says that now is a high time to awake out of sleep. And the ones, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people, quote unquote, out of sleep right now who consider themselves Israelites. But even you got Esau whistleblowers, okay? They're out of their sleep of America is just this um, great, this great land and this great nation. They've woken up to the fact that it's very corrupt and things are coming to a, a, an end uh, surely, quickly, at, you know, at least. It says, for now, our salvation is nearer than we believe, okay? It's nearer, all right? Is nearer than we believe. Here's the word near, and it's um, 
and euteron, and it means near, or it says um, uh, near. Matter of fact, let's get the etymology of the word near. That'll be even better. Okay. Here's the adjective for the word near. It says closer, near, all right? Comparative of nay or nigh, all right? It says near. It came to be used as a positive form in the mid-13th centuries, okay? Uh, let's see what else it says. It says to draw near. It's simple. The word near just means what it means, okay? It's very close. The day of the Lord, that, that dark day, is very close, I'm going to get Joel 2 and, uh, two, 2 and 11. I want to say 2 and 5. I'll get 2 and 11. Uh, this is Joel chapter 2 and 11. Um, and it reads, And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For he is strong that executed his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? That day that I just read right there is near, Okay. We are about to enter into the uh, into the uh, the prophecy of Daniel chapter twelve and one. I'm gonna read it. Daniel twelve and one. And at the and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found and written in the book. We're entering into that time. It's nearer than what we believe, man. Okay? It says, for now our salvation is near. Because when that, when that when that time hits, that is the time of our salvation. We are to get saved and delivered out of those certain tribulations and trials in the, in the climax of things when the, um, when the missiles come. We are to get salvation out of that. All right? And we will get delivered from that, from the deliverer, Yahweh Shah. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than we believed, you know? So I just wanted to come with that lesson and make sure, you know, hey, just keep pushing that spirit out that, look, man, we are at the very, very end, the closing seconds, the milliseconds, all right? We're at the uh, the Kobe Bryant last second shot, okay, to win the game right now. We're, at, we're, we're there, okay? It's nearer than what you believe, but that gives you no right to sit sit back because, what, you, you've been going to camp for... 10 years straight and haven't missed nothing. No, you still got to work. The scriptures say you have to labor in order to enter into your rest. You should be working harder that you see these things coming and your, and your fear should be building. It should be increasing because yes, it's exciting times, but it's lightweight nerve wracking at the same time because we really about to see what we've been talking about for years, for decades. We really about to see it go down and you can't sit here and tell me that you ain't going to be a scared, uh, scared in that day. The Lord puts fear in everybody. Everybody going to be shook. But there's going to be one, there's going to be some that what? That get through it. Okay? So as simple as that, man. So I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutation to the 11, 144, first fruit. Shalom.